in today's video, I'm gonna tell you why you should avoid women like Tia Mari. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah shalom thank you for tuning in to another righteous spiritful episode today i'm back at an in them trenches handling that kingdom business man it is uh you know painful to watch people self-destruct where you have a woman you know who said she was happily married there was nothing wrong with her marriage you know her husband valued his family said he always liked to spend time uh with his wife and kids and then to see this lady, Tia Mari, pretty much self-destruct by saying she had graduated uh, marriage like it was a, like it was some sort of check, like it was some sort of box that you just check off in life. And now she's posting videos uh, about her dating experience. And it is, uh, it's absolutely crazy because she thinks it's, you know, after being married, after being covered, uh, she, she's finding out that this dating market for a middle-aged woman is very awkward. Uh, they're slim pickings. You know, I'm gonna post a video down in the description where she pretty much details as she takes off her witchcraft makeup because uh, that's an example of, of witchcraft, you know, biblical witchcraft, deception, trickery. She's taking off her makeup, telling about uh, a date she went on with a man who had pretty much a gold grill in his mouth. And this is a good example of, she keeps saying that she missed out on her whole phase in her twenties. And this is a good example of, like I said, you cannot turn a hoe into a housewife. This is a woman who had whole tendencies, who had whole DNA, you know, and even inside of a good functional situation, uh, a marriage, i.e. where she's covered, where the husband is the savior of the body, man, that doggone, that the that uh, whole DNA, the whole tendencies, man, took its toll on her. You know, that whole DNA, that whole tendencies took its toll on her. And a woman like this will go from, you know, not being a fornicator, not being an adulterer, to shooting herself in the foot and getting out here and uh, committing adultery with every man that she lays down. When you look in the Bible, you don't see biblically where a woman divorces a man. You see a man divorcing a woman. And when we see that uh, word divorce, if you look at newer translations, it'll say divorce. But when you look behind the word, it says putting away. Putting away of and divorce has a different etymology. There's three parts to lawfully putting a woman away. And I'm gonna do a video on the painful process of doing that. But you don't see uh, women putting away men in the Bible. You just don't see it. The 66 books, the 88 books, but you always see it where a man is found some uncleanliness in his woman uh, and puts her away. You always see it when a woman uh, has committed some type of uh, sexually immoral, uh, you know, some kind of uh, adultery. You see it where a man is putting a woman away. And I tell you, man, you truly have to learn. I told you, when you look at this makeup and you see this stuff and these fake eyelashes, check the video out and watch all the deception that she is unpacking. Because this is the deception to where uh, a witch will bait a man and then here comes the destruction once she's got that stronghold on you. Man, her husband was posting videos about how he had to cry himself to sleep at night because, uh, you know, he wasn't able to keep his family. And I'll tell you, man, on the back end of that, if that brother keeps seeking out truth and seeks out the truth, he'll find so much freedom, man, because he'll realize that there's a woman. She probably don't look like no damn Tia Mari. She might be a good uh, a four or five, but her spirit is going to be what makes her uh, over a 10, makes her an 11 or a 12. And I've said it before, leave these, leave these doggone uh, transforming, makeup wearing witch nines and tens alone and get you a good four five. 
get you a good faux five because if you listen to that video down below where she's taking off this makeup, describing the account, you know, what is she expecting? Is she expecting marriage? Or is she expecting to get them cheeks bust? You know, it's, it's so much deception and trickery and, and younger men, modern men don't see it for what it is. And when you don't see it and don't discern the spirit in there, you get taken advantage of. This is a woman that will wreck your life and she has it in her mind. Okay, I'm gonna do this for a good five years. I'm gonna do this for a good 10 years, a good 15 years. And then I'm entering back into my whole phase. And that's what Tia Mari is gonna do. She's gonna potentially have some good dates that are gonna go well for her in her eyes based upon her standard of good, which is not righteousness. And this is gonna lead to, uh, you know, uh, acts of adultery, acts of fornication. And that's gonna be pretty much be the, that's pretty much gonna be the future for her. But I told you, women like Tia Mari are not gonna come full circle until they have experienced the worst that the world has to offer far as getting out here, living a life of a harlot, a fornicator. And then 10 years, you know, give it 10, 15 years from now, she's gonna come back around full circle and try to issue some sort of weak ass apology to her ex-husband. And that soil, that soil has been defiled biblically. He's not supposed to take her back. She's unclean. She didn't been out here whoring herself just like Israel did in Jeremiah chapter three and the Most High Yah uh, put, put Israel away. So think about that. She's going to issue some apology saying how she regrets it. And, uh, you know, she wished she would have never done it, but it, it, it's bygones and good riddance. Let it go. But her husband, if you look at uh, her ex-husband, man, that dude is going to he's going to he's going to find him a rare one. He's going to find him a rare one out here. And she's going to be out here, just like she said, dealing with these wannabe thugs, jokers with, with grills and all of that. And that's pretty much the rest of the story for her. Close to the Yah Ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.